guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Mathis and today I have a review for you guys. I'm reviewing series Men by Manu Joseph. This is his first novel which was published in 2010. This novel did not win any international awards. However, it did win the Hindu Literary Prize. The reason why I decided to read this novel is because I was drawn to the beautiful cover art. So I'm going to give you guys just a, a closer look of this gorgeous book. Is it, is it, it takes a little time for my camera to focus in. That's the reason why I take it so long to show the book, but whatever. The back. Now, let me give you guys just a brief synopsis of the story. The story takes place in Mumbai and it is centered around this Indian guy who is from a low caste called the Dalits. His name is Ian. He works as an assistant in this astronomy uh, institute where he is treated badly by a bunch of um, astronomers who are from the higher caste called the, the Brahmins. Ian, he tries his uh, darnest to approve his social status by passing off his son as a science genius. Um, now, my thoughts on this novel, um, I thought, I kind of have, I have conflicting thoughts uh, with this novel because uh, I did not love it, nor did I hate it. The beginning of this novel started off pretty, pretty slow. Uh, the protagonist um, walks around aimlessly throughout, throughout the first, I'd say, three chapters in this novel. Uh, the reader is left thinking like where this novel is going. Another thing that I did not like was the narration in this, in this novel. I thought the narration was, was pretty, um, pretty dry. Uh, I really didn't become really interested in this novel until the, the characters actually start interacting. Now, let's talk about the characters. Uh, so Ian, he's this guy who is uh, making up these uh, clever plans to improve his social status. So he's trying to make himself look good uh, to the Brahmins, and so uh, he goes through these uh, through these schemes, uh, which is very entertaining. Ian, he he's the type of guy that do not like discrimination, especially towards his caste, which is Dalits. And for uh, so Dalits are the people who are untouched. They also call untouchables in India. Uh, they are the lowest caste, and so um, he's very sensitive when it comes to uh, people talking about um, his caste. So I'm going to read you guys a passage from this novel. Uh, this just shows you how Indians view um, the caste system in India. <clears throat> I am, let's, let's you guys know, uh, he's at his son's school talking to the principal because his son got in trouble. This is the principal. Hinduism is like that, Mr. Manny. It has the upper caste and it has the Dalits, the Brahmins and the untouchables. That can never change. People only pretend that it has changed. So, um, uh, even though there's democracy in India, uh, however, there there is still bigotry um, that's still uh, prevalent. Another passage that I would like to read to you guys uh, is where Ian is at work, and he uh, overhears that uh, the the astronomers talking about his caste. So uh, Ian. He, uh, he takes the information to the Dalits that works in this institute and he, he tells them what the Brahmins uh, truly think about them at this workplace. Genes are things that parents pass on to their children. Ian told them, you are black because your parents were black. They are, trying, they are saying that you are dumb because your parents were dumb. And the Brahmins are smart because their parents were smart. And they are saying about me that I am only fit to be a toilet cleaner because I am a Dalit. So he is, so he is uh, telling the co-workers there who are Dalits as well, who works as assistants and janitors there, uh, that you know the Brahmins really don't look at them as equals. 
So the common themes that you get throughout this novel is classism, uh, discrimination, bigotry, and sexism. Uh, another thing that uh, I found very interesting is the Hindu mythology throughout this novel. Uh, Ayan, he doesn't like his religion. It's because uh, Brahmins are the upper class in, Hindu in Hinduism. And so Ayan, he, don't, he doesn't want to be Hindu. Hindu. He wants to be Buddhist. Um, uh, so he goes to these conflicting feelings uh, about being Hindu. That's the reason why you see a Hindu mythology on the front cover of this book. And there are also some Hindu mythology uh, theories connected to the science within this novel. So what really brought down the story for me guys is the ending. I feel like the ending was rushed. Uh, I feel like the author didn't know how to wrap up the story. So it just did not meet my expectations. So I give this book a uh, 2.5. It was just a uh, okay read. However, it was it was fun. Yeah, so that's my review of Serious Men. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. If you guys want have any questions about this book, please leave me in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.